did you learn about this firing? How uh, quick was okay. it? What I think actually was an example of like a sort of little dust up that happened before, but there was a series of these little things where I'd kind of push back and stand up for myself. And generally speaking, like I wouldn't be speaking on this if it was like, if I felt like I was the only person who ever experienced this, but know that if I say something, it's, it's probably indicative of a general pattern of if you see people leaving, it might be because of the way that their boss is treating them and it's less than respectful. And, and wow. I've listed off, you know, we've had discussions before where I go, hey, man, I feel like you're disrespecting me. And he goes, well, how so? And I'll list off like 10 things. And then he goes, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not about being sorry. for. I want you to sure. regret. Is this indicative of you not liking me or thinking I'm a bad employee or what? Like, because you would pair things like that. You know, Holy I love you, shit. but and then shit on me. And I'm like, let's get to the bottom of this. What is your actual perception of me? Because I feel like you're subverting me. And this is with you and Brendan. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And actually, you know, to, to Brian's credit, Brian was very, very supportive of me. And I felt like he actually went out of his way to like try and understand me as a person. So that's really all I can say about him. Um, you know, and, and, and we, we, me and him had a couple dust ups actually, but he was always very careful to like, if we had an argument, he'd come to me and pull me aside and go, Hey, I, I didn't like how that went down or whatever. And I, and I do respect that, that he was able to handle that kind sure. of confrontation with a direct and final apology rather than, well, we both kind of had it, you know, oh, well, I, 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 yeah, I was mean, but, or whatever, you know, the case may be. Now I got fired actually, because I couldn't come in on a Monday for shop show. Now, come to find out later that Brendan had actually taken me off the payroll for Thick Boy, Ooh. like, after our last disagreement. I didn't realize it at the time, but he wasn't paying me to be there for the shop show in which I take pictures, I annotate wow. uh, quotes during the show, I kind of just help, you know, produce the show in a minor, like, you know, like a PA, I guess. Sure. But, um, I'm just there, I'm one of the hands on deck, just just going, let's get these quote cards out as soon as possible. I, I write the episode description i write the title um sometimes i do the thumbnails stuff like that that's a lot of work well, i'm telling you you know that title, sounds like no work but i hate doing that kind of stuff video. that stuff could take you two three hours you correct, know to do stuff correct. like that yeah, so yeah. It's like i like learning that stuff but it's not i think people can see it as insignificant or kind of, oh yeah you just, you just make thumbnails. no it's, it's not like, insignificant oh, yeah. trust me yeah. even uh as simple as you know we have to pick the thumbnail for each episode that could take uh an hour and it can right. be very uh, grueling, frustrating, tedious. He ate shop so much. He went on Red Bar. And 9,000 people will see this because he'll strike down half his clip channels. He hates shop this much. You use this word careful. Uh, I've always... Live? Are you there? And, and even whether you're employed by him or your friend that he feels like he has control over because maybe you open for him or something like that, the moment he gives you money of any sort or does anything... There's a feeling like he owns you for the rest of your life, Ooh. right? And tend to not like that if they value their autonomy. So I didn't text him back for a few hours. I did it deliberately. It sure. was stressful for me because he's hitting the group text. He's he's texting me privately. Like he's he sees that I had read the text message. He goes, Mark, this is silly. Just text me back. Just let me know. I have to hire a whole other editor. So he made this crisis out of it. Like I had to hire a whole other editor because you didn't come. And I go, I don't know. I, by 10 p.m., don't tell me that some you'd hired some other guy who's already starting work and you couldn't do it. And I even said the next day when he said it in the group chat, that he finally woke up and saw I'd have been sending all these reels. He's like, yeah, Mark, I don't know. We had to hire someone else, man. You went MIA and you really fucked us. And, and I go, well, okay, so you hired somebody else. How much did you pay them? I'll cash mm. up you right now. I'll reimburse you. So that wasn't enough. Um, and then he keeps going. He's like, this is just not, not how it's done. Like, blah, 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 you know, uh, really laying into me. And I go, you know, I think if, if you just got all the work that I did, I basically worked for 15 hours straight after giving you a reasonable excuse to getting my shift covered in the morning. If you're concerned about me not texting you back for a few hours after I'm offering to pay, maybe you have your priorities backwards. And of course he didn't like that. So it escalated to him just going, yeah, man, I'm sorry. This isn't working out. You know, I can pay you for February, um, which, you know, we'll see about that. There's uh, a lot of you still hasn't to paid. I won't be for a lot of these things, but um, this time I'd, I'd had a, other issues before where he kind of like blamed it on me or he go like other people are saying this. And then I go to them and apologize and say, hey, man, if I did something that upset you or, you know, if my behavior in any way. But it was always about me and him because I, everyone else at Thick Boy is great. 
um, everyone else that I've that I've worked with there. Okay. So I you would you would say your relationship with Brendan is not good. You got a sour taste in your mouth about working with these guys here. Would you yes, go back to working with Fighter and the Kid if they apologized for this? Never. 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 Okay. Never. So maybe Never. is there anything else that he said maybe to the public that we assumed was a lie that he said you know was totally uh, you know legit? Is there anything? That you heard, well, you know, there was that thing with Bobby Lee. Remember this big incident where he said he had all these documents, 300 yeah. pages of files. What was that all about? Well, I would describe that broadly as like, if you had to choose your own adventure and you just, and like at each step, there was like just the worst possible step you could take. You know, it's like, and you could either you know, go in the door or you could stick your hand in the wood chipper. You know, it's like, I'm going to yeah. stick my hand in the wood chip. Then it's like, you could call 911 or you could shoot yourself in the foot with a shotgun. I and mean, you're like, I'll shoot myself in the foot with a shotgun. So that's kind of what it felt like at 10 different steps. But the main question I think that people have is like, is this 300 pages of evidence real? Yeah, yeah, is it? Brendan, has Brendan seen 300 pages of evidence? I think he may have been told by that, but like, or told about that. And I'll, and I'll, I'll just try to be specific here because the speculation is that none of this ever happened. Right. Or like, like that, that it was a complete fabrication. Sure. Right. It's not a complete fabrication in the sense that I believe he believed that he had this information that, that Bobby was somehow connected to the subreddit. Sure. He, let's just say, you know, in a theoretical world, I don't know, maybe if you were looking to get a subreddit taken down, Holy shit. maybe you might hire some, some unsavory people. Maybe those unsavory people, you know, in this theoretical scenario mm. are scamming you. Maybe they're real, but maybe they're scamming you. Maybe they're passing on information to you as a rube who doesn't know anything about computers, claiming that they're making progress in taking a website down that you in this theoretical so scenario, you never saw 300 pages of documents you you never saw him carrying a big book of i never saw it and 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 he never saw it but was passing it on as if he had because wow now do i believe he was told something to that effect yes do i think that brendan's easy to take advantage of because of his naivete and unwillingness to sort of look into and confront the factual reality of certain scenarios yes so now let's take it to that step where you go okay if i if i came to you and said uh are you red bar we have um evidence that you know mark harley is running this hate group online against you yeah. you necessarily call me up and go hey motherfucker i know it's you yada 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 like you know i'm gonna beat your ass this and that what you might do, if you actually believe that, is say, you know, store that information in my back pocket. Sure. And just, it could be true, it could not be true, but I'm just going to sort of suss it so out. So he just person. heard about that 300 pages. He never really saw it, and then he just you used like, it Roger when he needed Bobby? to to kind correct, of explain, correct. wow. That, that, yeah, that's part of this pattern is like... Yeah, he just kind of... Yeah, I, I can see... Yeah, we've got a lot of guys like that. Now, I really want to ask you this. You know, Brendan is a married...